yesterday. <laughs> I had those lovely big braids with the tinsel in. Uh, I have to say though that it took forever to take them out because obviously I went a little bit longer than my actual hair and this braid here well because you just can't see and trying to get your fingers in so you need a good sort of 15 minutes once you're up to sort of halfway of your hair then it just kind of comes out quite nicely but right at the beginning oh dear it took quite a long time today we're going to do well they call it a pull through braid uh, but we're going to be putting the tinsel back in um, so when you take this out do be careful little bits did come out but generally it still looks okay and I'm hoping that this same tinsel will last me pretty much until Christmas Day fingers crossed so you're just gonna need lots of really stretchy hair bands you can also use elastic bands but I find it a bit easier especially with using the tinsel um, to use these big ones also going to need a pintail comb, a clip, and then of course a hairbrush. So basically going to get the hairband underneath. I'm going to put my finger through and I'm going to grab from the other side the other bit of the hairband and then pull it through just like that. I'll show you on the other one as well. Okay. show you again get it equal at the bottom okay so I've put the hairband at the bottom there I'm going to put my fingers through here and then on the other side grab that one and then pull it through okay so you want to start by clipping that first ponytail out of the way and then you're going to create a second ponytail underneath and then tie the gold tinsel onto that one. Unclip the top part, making sure that you've got tinsel on either side of the ponytail. And it's in the middle. <laughs> then split that in half. Take the gold tinsel up and clip that out of the way. Then you want to join those two pieces with the red tinsel together, but you also want to add in hair from either side as well.
once you've created that ponytail, you now want to pull out the sides. But what I'm trying to do is to make sure the tinsel is on the outside of the braid because that's what's really going to show. Then continue that process until you get to the bottom. When you bring the braid to the front it's a bit more difficult to keep it straight and sometimes you might need to move the tinsel around just to make sure that it is sitting on the outside and whilst you're tying the top two pieces together you can always just clip that underneath part out of the way so you can see there that the red tinsel is pretty much in the middle so i just move it to the outside and make sure that it's going to stay there as I tie these pieces together.
these are a little bit a little bit longer I'm actually going to wrap them round covering up the hairband and because of course these are wire they should stay nicely in place ta-da easy peasy jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way.